महागणपत मन सा स्मरा में महादेव मुद शिसा नमा महागणपत मन सा स्मरा में So this this concept, somewhere somebody is there. He sent people down, and afterwards the game is that I have to go there to him again. I have no indication at all. Somebody one fine morning pops up in my life and tells that you know you have to go to heaven. Well, after that. I'm not interested. No, you are interested. <laughs> Why? Because I wish you would go to hell. <laughs> What is hell? It will be very hot. I will air condition the place. You can't go. Is it worth that, Saudi? No, it is worth it. You cannot air condition. Air air condition. You cannot air condition. And it is eternal. He creates a fear in you. He makes an offer that I cannot refuse. God the Father, God Father makes an offer that I cannot refuse. He is a mortal. Before he gets me, I can get him. Not God the Father. This fellow is in Dubai. He is in heaven. <laughs> Nice concept. Very beautiful. <laughs> the law is the lawmaker. There is nothing you can say against it because you can't say I don't believe. I don't want you to believe. Nor you say I believe because. That's not correct either. It's a matter for understand. The elementary school teacher says, "Hey, this is ten plus ten. Ten plus eleven is equal to hundred minus." Seventy-eight. Hundred minus seventy-eight. Do you understand? How? Twenty-eight. Twenty-nine. Twenty-nine. Minus, how this side can be equal to that side? It cannot be. But you don't understand. I don't understand, sir. But I believe you, sir. I believe you. And the teacher also is happy, and the boys is now. I believe you. An equation is meant for not belief. For knowing, for knowing, we say this is what, what this God is. How? That's a good question. You can't say I believe it. You can't say I don't believe it. Suppose I say you you don't know anything what it is all about. 
If you don't know, and I, you, I say, so this is, so this is a, yeah, yeah, a flower. This is a, this is a flower. Suppose you don't know any, anything about flower. I said this is a flower. <laughs> this flower. Yes, this object. Oh, that's an object. Yes. Oh. Oh, this is flower? Yes, this is flower. I believe. What do you believe? Uh, whatever you have in your hand. Yes. Uh, I, I believe that there is an object in your hand, I believe. And that object is flower, I believe. You said it is rose, but you can say so. You can say so because it may not be rose. It may not be flower, correct? I will be telling uh, telling something wrong. It may not be rose. It may not be flower. But you cannot say it is not an object. Can you say that? I believe that it is an object in your hand. Can you say that? Here is an object in my hand. Do you believe that? Yes, Swamiji, I believe. Why? Because you said it, there is an object in my hand. And one person says, I don't believe that. Why you don't believe that? Because you said it. <laughs> because in both there is no, there is no thinking. Human mind is not meant for that. You don't need buddhi for this. Where you need to know, you should know. Where you have to believe, you have to believe. And you need not, you may say, I, I don't want to believe. I don't say that. I am not interested in any concept. Suppose I say, the after death you will survive. It's a matter of belief. You can say, I don't believe. Yes, you can't prove. Therefore, I don't believe. I'm not interested in it. You can see. And you can go to heaven. There's a place called heaven. And it is very desirable. The standard of living is better. Okay, nice. Desirable. Are you interested? No. No, I'm interested here. So I'm going to do some shopping. What kind of shopping? Moksha shopping. <laughs> what is moksha? Whether yeah, yeah, I want heaven moksha or local moksha. What do you want? Heaven moksha or local moksha? I want, I want local moksha. Heaven is a belief. You can't say I don't believe in it. You can say I am not interested in it. There you will get moksha, that I don't accept it. It is irrational. Neither it is a belief or disbelief, it is irrational, it is erroneous. I don't want it, because there is no eternal heaven. Unless it is a metaphor. And therefore, certain things you dismiss, certain things you believe, what is beyond reason, beyond the scope of means of knowledge is belief. You can believe and then you, yeah, you believe. And you are not, and you are not disin, you may be disinterested in that. That's it. That's in fact that is discrimination. There is discrimination. And therefore, so if you say, if you have got some problem, and especially when there are so many people, so many people, everybody will offer you a medicine. Everybody will offer you a medicine. You take this, it will be all right. That you take that, it will be all right. You don't take anything, you will be all right. It's next open. <laughs> so you just, you just breathe. And everything else, you stop. All will be all right. And this, nowadays in India, there are naturopathy clinics. Very costly. Why? Because 
they, they, they give you water in the morning, in the middle of the water, water in the afternoon, they give you water. And they will give you some lime juice. And you have to pay 5,000 rupees a day. Why? Because free air. <laughs> These natural pots are free. <laughs> Good business. They make money out of free air. And what? And your breathing. We make money out of your breathing. You have to breathe properly. Okay? <laughs> your breathing. You can you can accept certain things. Many people offer many things. You can offer. You can accept one, and you may not accept even that one. That's freedom. That's freedom. There are a lot of things offered. Even the Veda offers, and Veda also tells you, if you are interested, you can do. They're not interested in it now. And suppose you ask, how long I will be there in heaven? As long as you have your premium. And for every day you spend there, you have to spend out of your capital, premium. Then that means I cannot earn. Can I perpetuate my existence by marrying somebody in the heaven? <laughs> <laughs> So by marital right, I can extend my visa, you know, <laughs> I can become a citizen. No, all those people also in the heaven are on temporary visa. <laughs> all of them are expatriates. In heaven, they are all expatriates, like people, Indians go to Gulf countries. They are all expatriates. It's a good thing I was there. You see, they all come back here, it's a wonderful thing. But all anybody wants to go abroad, go to Gulf country and come back. They don't talk to you, you don't talk to them. You mind your business and you earn your money and come back. Have a nice house here and live a clean, quiet life without the clay. That is the best. Don't go to Saudi. <laughs> there also you can go, if you know how to live, that also is okay. Just have your own, you cannot get out, stay, stay put inside and then live. Make some money and come back. Hey, <laughs> when this heaven is like this, the Purusha tells, get the tag here, karma chito loka kshiyate, Tatata Mutra, Punichitola Bhakshi. Is a just how it is here, so it is then. You will come back. That means what? It's no question of disbelieving. It's a question of Viveka, whether you will be there. And therefore, when we make a statement, we mean the Shastra makes a statement that all that is here is Ishvara. The first line in the Upanishad, in the Upanishad, in the list of Upanishads, ten of them or are occupying in a certain order. The first two Upanishads in the list, 
This is not supreme Upanishad. It is not number one Upanishad. There is a list, traditional list. Yishakena kata prashna mundaka mandukya tittirihi. Aitareyam cha chandogyam bhagadaranikam tata. Like this, ten Upanishads are mentioned. Yishya kena kata prashna mundaka mandukya tittirihi taitariya. Aitareya, chandogya, bhridharanya, ten. All right. The first two Upanishad, Isha. And what is the first line? Isha vasya midam sarvam yet kincha jagat dhyam jagat. In this jagat, in this world of time and space, changing, in this changing jagat, anything that is there, micro or macro, is but Ishwara. And therefore, you, one has to look at it as Ishwara. Ishwara buddhya achadaniyam. One has to look at this entire jagat as Ishwara. How can that be the truth? How do I know? That is the teaching. How do I know? What thing you know? Everything is given. The given argument is an important argument. Everything is given. So you are parentage, you have no choice. These are my parents, given. Date of birth, you have no choice. Even though you want to change the date of birth. Why? Because the astrologer told you. If you, you, you were uh, one, one day later, you were, because this fellow was born on April 13th, evening. All that is required is a few more hours. Then April 14th. April 14th, the sun will go to Aries. And sun in Aries means exalted. Sun in Aries exalted. It will be wonderful. Otherwise, this fellow Mira Lagna, and in the sun is in the sixth house. All Karabro time. And therefore, <laughs> and sun is the sixth now. Sitting in the Lagna is not a very happy thing. And therefore, it is good to have sun. Just now I made one horoscope, you know. So it's all. And sun exalted. Here is exalted. It will be wonderful. Second house. Exalted. Faisa, the fellow. You know, will be. Anything he starts it to be money. Wonderful. And uh, this, it should be a, there should be no problem. So this, somebody said this, therefore, you want to <laughs> that is very nice to know, but I was born on 13th of April. Then he became very sad. Then I told him, this is called mental health. You see how you boost the mental health of a person. And he said, Swamiji, I, you know, I am born on 13th April. I used feel so sad. Why? Astrologer told me if I was born on the 14th, I would be better off. So I have only 13th. Hey, come on. Be thankful if you were born on the 1st of April. <laughs> Be thankful. There is a reason for you to be proud, to be grateful. You know? You know what is first of April? You don't know. You know? They don't know. They don't know. April 1st is 
fools. Huh? Here they do all these practical things. So one, one, one play, they said they, they sent card. So Swami Dayananda is coming for satsang in the evening. He said, really? And then they all came and then afterwards, Swami Dayananda was not there. Then they were all told the April 1st. This is April 1st. Practical. And therefore, date of birth given, parents given, I want to change my mother, you can't <laughs> given. And then the body is given. The constitution has got a certain, it gives you certain leeway. And therefore you can, you, you can put on a little more and you can reduce it. So this is all given, little bit. Yeah, these are what you can do. <laughs> so this is given. And then it has got to, you can, you can go to a gym and develop some muscles and all that given. Beyond that you cannot do. You can't become an elephant. <laughs> you can't. You can't become an elephant. Nor you, you emaciate yourself and try to become a, a rat. If not, you can, you can at best become a rat. Okay. <laughs> Therefore, there is no way of, there is no, there are limitations. You cannot go beyond that given. Not only parentage is given, contemporary society is given. In this society, Swami Dayananda also is there. <laughs> given? It is given. It is given. Otherwise, how are you going to meet that Swami? It is given. It's all given. Sun is given, star is given. Everything that is here is given. That you have to breathe. To live is given and air is provided, given. And you have got the freedom to pollute the air. That is also given. <laughs> And you can abuse because you got you have been given the freedom to abuse, use, disuse. The entire, the entire freedom is given. Everything that you have to eat is given, food is given. What is not given? Knowledge of what is right, wrong, given. That is why it's universal. It is given by common sense. We all know what, that we don't want to get hurt. We, don't, we know that we don't want to be cheated, we don't want to be robbed, we don't want to be taken advantage of. And, every, and we also know others expect the same thing. That is the difference between animal and the human. Animal knows that I don't want to get hurt. The cow can hurt a person. If it is afraid of this person, it will hurt with its horn. The horns are not for patakunjala. <laughs> they are not for ornament, for hanging jingle bells. It, it will attack. And therefore, so the, the cow knows, knows that I should not get hurt. I about itself I am telling that it should not get hurt. But it doesn't know. You don't want to get hurt. That is, that's why it has no guilt after hurting you. And it cannot be also sued in the court. No litigation against the court, even in America. <laughs> No. That's called knowledge. How anybody can go against this? This is knowledge universal. You know this is what I don't want for others to do to me. And you know that others also expect the same thing. That means there is a certain structure. Given. Given structure. Dharma.
and the faculty is given everything is given, including a spare kidney. Correct? Spare kidney. With two kidneys. Are given. Spare kidney means not that one is kept uh, uh, without work and afterwards uh, if one comes under repair, you put it. It's not like stiffly tied. Both are working. If you tell one but work, it can't take over. That's very big, I tell you. Because, you see, that's why. It's very important, even in the that the the the, the disposal of God weight is very important. Whatever that is the the refuse, that which is not necessary in the system, it has got to be all that is not necessary has to get out of this system and that has got to be processed for which that's a very important, important plant. And for this you require kidney. Bhagavan gave one liver and two kidney. From this we understand every city must have, must have a system. It doesn't work. Another system should be there. Means idea is, it's important. The all drainage, all sewage, and the processing plants, all these are very important. Look at your own body, two kidneys and one liver. I see some message there. Given. Heart is given. That you require blood. Given. And the blood is not, this is not some kind of a bag which has got the blood everywhere. No. No blood is outside. It's all within, within the vessels, within the arteries within the capillary and really the pure diffusion is the high tech. Every organ is sustained. It's an amazing thing. And the body is porous also. And it's an air conditioning plant also. You maintain the temperature. Give up. For this body, who made this? Because ice. And suppose I say, where did you get these glasses? And um uh, you know, we have, we have uh, uh, in, uh, in Sweden, Sweden is famous for glasses, okay. In Sweden, Sweden was famous for glasses or uh, some other country, country. Mirrors and all that? Belgium. Ah, Belgium. Ah, Belgium. You know, in Belgium, there's a valley. And from the valley, from the springs of water, these glasses keep coming. From the earth, they keep coming. And different glasses. And then you go there and then try Try one doesn't work and the other one you can try. And where are your glasses? And we will come in at the door, you pay the money and come. That's how I picked up one. Will you believe? 
<laughs> if you say I believe, then I will start Hare Rama. <laughs> Exactly. Why? Why there are no natural glasses? This is all man-made, there is so much involved, it's all made. Oh! So much knowledge involved, so much skill involved. Oh! My eyes, are, my eyes are made, no skill, no knowledge, false knowledge in you know. That's why we, are, we also understand that it can be understood. Ophthalmology is a discipline of knowledge, all about eyes, lot of knowledge. Why a thing is there, what for it? It is there. How does it work? We have studied all of this. It's full of knowledge. What is written now? Why written now? What is uh, what is that? You know the uh, uh, what is written now? And then in the center? Macula. Eh? Macula. Ah, what is Mekula? What is edema of Mekula? Well, all this we have studied. All the child knowledge. Oh, who authored this body? Who created this body? Who's got so much knowledge? My mother. Oh, she knows all about Mekula, eyes. She can make eyes. Yeah. She didn't know all that. Well, yes, no. Liver, how to make liver? No. How to make kidneys? No. How to make heart? No. How the system works? No. Then how, 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 how did, how did it come? Where is that knowledge? Whose knowledge is this? Grandfather? Himself had a body. Whose knowledge? Whose knowledge? It must be somewhere. A conscious being, somebody's knowledge. Where is that knowledge? That you can have a child is given. And that follows also certain laws. It's given. It's all given. My God. So, where does the knowledge for the scheme of things in which you find yourself and yourself and the laws that govern the scheme and your own body? mind sense complex and the forces, all these are given, implying knowledge and shakti. Where will you trace that shakti? Where? Where the shakti is, shakti mon. Where that knowledge is, jnana one. The one who has got the knowledge and the one who has got the shakti also. You cannot borrow from anybody. Why? We are talking of all. All has come from whom? There is nobody, nobody to call, nobody to ask anybody. And therefore, all came from who? We'll call, we'll call that person as all-knowing. 
ಆಲ್ ಶಕ್ತಿ ಈಶ್ವರ ಸೊ ಫಾರ್ ಸೊ ಗುಡ್ ಎಲ್ಲಿ ಇದ್ದಾರೆ ಭಗವಂತ ಈಶ್ವರ where is this ishwara is all knowledge all power whom you call ishwara where is where what do you say when what do you ask this question when because you already concluded is not here correct that question comes from not here so he have seen him before to say that he is not here eh? if you say so you sit here right sitting in front of me and if you ask the question where is dayananda that means you are already know how we dayananda should look and he is not here your computer and if you think dayananda should look other than what you see correct right? therefore you are asking a question where is he what is this question where is ishwara means you have already decided how he should look how he should be whether it is a he or she you have already decided and therefore you are asking a question where no no no, no i am not asking a question don't shout at me <laughs> so what <laughs> then what then what do you say No, 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 I mean, I will read, I'm read, uh, casting my question out. Then can you tell me what is this issue of more? Okay, I will tell you. Next class. <laughs> <laughs>